Good evening, ladies and gents. I'm back with another Comic Pros Play video, and this one is just a bit of a kind of news roundup for the month of November. Before the video, though, I want to just give a quick shout out to the sponsor of my YouTube channel for this month, and that is Magix Video Editor. So, if you are looking at getting into video editing, doing a bit of YouTube, or anything like that, and no matter what your experience level, you do need a powerful video editing program and that is where Magix fills the gap. Not only is Magix that powerful video editing program which you can very quickly pick up and use, it is also very affordable. There will be a full review coming out very soon on my channel of the program so keep an eye out for that. So. We're already a week into November and the Twitch Drops event that was running over Halloween has now just finished. People got a brand new horse out of it, got loads of unit uh, stuff for it as well. I think it was a really good, successful Twitch Drops. I know between us as content creators, we saw a massive increase in all of our viewership. Very, very much on par with the last couple of Twitch Drops as well. One of our content creators, King Alpha, actually hit over a thousand viewers in one of his streams as well so really hats off to you king alpha because that is an amazing feat for any streamer of any game to get have over a thousand viewers twitch drops again was really really successful i hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did doing it there was loads and loads of variety in the stuff you could get this time i personally didn't stream as much this time unfortunately because i had a few real life issues going on but i know most of the content creators really did put a load of streams in which was really good kind of following on from that the last warlord standing tournament that i am running with zimster is still ongoing as well and we have streamed that a couple of times during the twitch drops event however that is not ending like the twitch drops the last warlord standing tournament is going to carry on going and you still have the opportunity to sign up to it as well so I will put a link in the description box below for you. So go down to that link, sign up through our Discord, and then we can get you into the weekly brackets. So EU side is Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. GMT. And on the NA side of things, I believe that's actually turned into now team battles. I still believe on Friday evenings for you guys. I'm not entirely sure of the time because I, I think it did change at some point, but it's Fridays for the NA. EU is Wednesdays. If you are interested in partaking, definitely hit that sign up button. Come down below, sign up through our Discord, get put into the uh, weekly brackets. There are very, very good prizes up for grabs. Very good prizes up for grabs. Once we get to the end of this season as well, we will be looking at actually pitting up the best of the EU against the best of the NA. Now we're going to have to have a little think about how that's going to happen as NA has recently changed into teams. But there will be a way we can do that. So there is going to be quite a lot of hype surrounding the end of the last Wall of Standing tournament near the end of Season 5. Talking about Season 5, most of the units and everything have now unlocked the Sifaranari. The Flamethrower units actually unlock tomorrow as well. So if you're looking at getting your hands on those guys and doing the challenges for them, they actually unlock tomorrow on Monday the 9th of October. There's going to be challenges as the uh, usual way about it. Because they're tier 5, there will be, I think it's 6 or 7 pages of challenges. So quite a few pages of challenges. Obviously, you can purchase sovereigns to go through all these challenges without actually doing them. But because there's so many pages of them, it's going to be quite costly. The challenges usually are pretty easy, pretty simple to actually do. Just go through, have a look through and see actually what you, uh, what you want to do and what you want to pay off is probably the best way of doing it so there's a couple more events coming up in november as well so we have a storm from the sea coming up on november the 13th and then we have the storm regionopolis on november the 23rd storm in regionopolis obviously regionopolis this time around this season is our conqueror city there is going to be some insane battles going on for regionopolis the capitals actually I unlock, I believe, this Saturday as well. So next Saturday night for Territory Wars, we can actually take Taichang or Torovaros as well. There are going to be some epic, epic battles coming out around these capital cities, especially Regionopolis. I can see a lot of people going for that one. Territory Wars is really starting to heat up. 
there are loads of battles going on every single territory war and actually being part of the cohort if like i said if you uh, haven't caught my last video about me joining the cohort go back and watch that because actually being part of the cohort you can teleport around straight into a battle and we have been defending literally everything we've also been attacking we actually took a couple of thieves last night from some pretty powerful houses as well really good fun territory wars this season around and they look to continue as well so there is going to be a, another twitch drops event in november as well this will start near the end of uh, november that's the only news we've got at the minute for the twitch drops event we don't know what uh what rewards they're going to be what dates there are or anything yet but i can expect it's probably going to go on for another week or two and there will be loads of rewards loads of variety and loads of range of the different rewards so definitely keep an eye out for that as soon as i know actually what is happening with the november twitch drops then i will definitely put another video out to let you know what is actually going on black friday as well as november 27th of november 27th of this month it's the 27th of November, so the 27th of this month is Black Friday. And last year, Conqueror's Blade put out loads of very good deals for Black Friday. And they've also already said that actually this Black Friday, they're going to be doing exactly the same as well. Again, we don't actually know what is coming out or what the discounts or bargains are going to be. As soon as I know more about that, I will, of course, let you know in a separate video. But just be very mindful of... November 27th, that is Black Friday, there will be loads of deals coming for Congress Blade as well. So you'll probably be looking at things like unit attires and hero attires especially will probably be very heavily discounted. Possibly sovereigns, possibly other items as well will be heavily discounted. As soon as I know, I will let you know. Last but not least, now Christmas is fast approaching us. We have about seven weeks or so until Christmas and us as content creators are planning a huge variety of events for you guys to come, out, come and partake and enjoy with us as well. So we've got a few ideas already. One idea which will definitely be happening and at the minute the date is looking to be 21st of December on the Monday at about half past seven GMT will be the Christmas Content Creators Podcast. Now, I've already sourced and managed to get quite a few people involved. So Drew, Caden are both going to be partaking, but I've got Zimster, Mouflon, Ham Banana, uh, and a load of other content creators as well. I will make a separate video about this, actually detailing what we're going to be doing that podcast, what who's going to be involved and everything like that, how you can get involved as well, because there's going to be hopefully a few things you guys can get involved in too. We are going to be podcasting for probably about two to two and a half hours, so we've got loads of time to talk about the game, but also talk about other things as well and have a few mini games and quizzes and stuff like that as well. So it's looking really good this year, and it's going to be quite a uh, interactive, I think, thing to uh, to do. We will hopefully have a few more other events going on as well so that you guys can get part or take part in but we don't know actually what we could do yet we're still going through just the groundwork trying to figure out some stuff but for for sure the podcast is happening thank you very much for listening guys i hope this news update has uh, given you a bit of uh, something to go on for the next couple of weeks like I said, any details about any of the subjects that I've already spoken about today, any more details I get, I will make a separate video about. So just keep an eye out for those. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do, because this is the place for all the latest and greatest from Conqueror's Blade. As always, thank you very much for watching, folks, and I hope to catch you out on the battlefield. <laughs>